Hello, you're definitely rolling this time? Definitely. Uh, what did I say? Uh, What's your name, what do you do? Oh, uh, John Powell. Uh, what do I do? Not much there, but this is the studio where I work. And uh, these are our air conditioning units. Um, there's a lot of air conditioners unfortunately needed when you're in Los Angeles and you've got a lot of gear. But the studio has 96 panels, solar panels on the roof, so most of the time, except when the sun goes down, it's, it's running for free. So. Uh, this is the walkway uh, through the pornography books um, and uh, stupid pictures of hands, Harry and me. Um, my wife has a studio here, a photography studio, uh, with lots of small children that have been uh, turned into dolls for strange photos, and that is not a picture of me up there, by the way. Or is it? <laughs> so she's doing, she does all these kind of mannequin, strange doll things. Uh, this is a friend of ours, their daughter. She was cast and then she makes it out of paper and stuck on a mannequin and things. It's all very, very odd. Um, but so this is her room, so that's like a light box. Great. And then, uh, through to the percussion room kitchen, which is uh, just a kitchen sometimes, but it's got a lot of percussion instruments and things. We've got drawers of like. sort of uh, strings, you know, for all the various instruments, like that, and then, you know, bell, and you see, there's various bits of instruments, and, and also fix things on here so it tends to be a bit of a workshop, which is why there's a shit hole in there. Um, and then this is the main room, which can be divided. There's sliding doors that go all the way across so you can have, this is just keeping everything at bay at the moment. Oh, there's one of 16 track, uh, an old 16 track, and Hammond, uh, guitars, that I can't play, my father's bass, uh, bass accordions, strange instrument. And then, so all of these doors will slide, and so you could actually do kind of sessions. And we have done like a night and day. We had like players in each area, uh, pianos. Uh, so they all go away if you want. The whole area will open out. So, and this is really the recording studio, but we have set it up currently as a mix room. So we mix a pan in here and mixing various other things, and it's set up to Sean Murphy's specifications and. Um, it, uh, it's an S5 Euphonics, and at the moment we're really just using it to, because <laughs> uh, I'm recording some stuff at 192, so we can't use the S5 because it doesn't go up past 196, so this is just a control. Um, I've got three sets of speakers in here just in case, the BMWs. And the ATCs are kind of more normal speakers. And then I've got some club speakers up there for the yeah, tell. And then the, the room has been um, processed <laughs> as far as the, uh, um, the actual sound of it, with a lot of diffusing by a very interesting um, acoustic architect who designed these based on Fibonacci sequence and uh, chaos theory. And they they're made of fiberglass and ceramic, and they break up the sound, and then we've got absorbers and we've got diffusers all over the place. Because it's a hell of a room to try and organise because it's got glass everywhere. You can't see it at the moment, but all this opens up. I don't like dark rooms, so I, I won't work in the usual studio where you, know, you mm. end up feeling like a veal. Um, but when this is all cleared out, we can, I don't know, probably get 
30 strings in here or something like that. We have a regenerative um, system for acoustics in here, but it's not on at the moment. Uh, but it's 16 microphones, 16 speakers in the ceiling that, uh, and a matrix of 256 routes via filters and attenuation that uh, John has done in Max. And that uh, allows us to add more ambience back into the room if we want to. That works very well. We recorded some quartet here recently with that and it sounds good. So this is the big room and I write in here, I have written in here mostly simply because when you've got meetings on films you've got so many people here. <laughs> need a lot of area. The actual control room where I'm writing at the moment is a bit small. Uh, we'll see that. So this is the uh, glass floor uh, of the control room and uh, it uh, allows us to see um, right up uh, into the control room whoever's waving at you. You can see them if you're trying to play. <laughs> and then uh, uh, oh, very important, I put a toilet lock on this um, because I was getting interrupted and so I thought well, I'll make it. the only place that I can really be safe is the toilet so I'll make it into a toilet. Uh, John Crooks who's a software guru and designs all these uh, cool Max tools for me um, and control room is a Floating, proper floating room, so you could, you could, uh, you know, come in here and not hear anything outside. It's a room within a room, uh, and then all the outboard gear over there. Uh, we have an analog desk to uh, for for recording. Uh, a lot of, obviously, a lot of fun stuff there. Um, ATC's in here at the moment. Um, oh yeah, so this is the, uh, it gives you a view of when you're recording with people. So when we do vocals, they tend to be down there, we were just doing piano recently. Uh, my guitar rack, which I must admit I haven't used in many years now. Um, a great indulgence, that, yeah, great indulgence. The machine room is like machine rooms, they're cold and not very interesting. There's lots of Pro Tools and well, basically, my rig for writing is, uh, let's see, it's a Mac toilet dustbin, um, and then some PCs, uh, and if you'd known me 10 years ago, you would have known that I would have refused to have a PC in the building, but unfortunately they are very, very powerful, pretty good. Uh, so we've got two PCs, a Mac, toilet bin and then a, a Mac as a Pro Tools, which is basically a mixer, that's it. And that's really my rig, so I'm nice to get it all into that. Um, and then everything else is to do with mixing. So you can mix from down there, or you can mix from up here, or you can write from down there, or you can write from up here. So, uh, So then, uh, then lots and lots of gear, like spare parts, microphones, things, uh, backup tapes, and the endless number of hard drives uh, that you seem to buy. You know, I keep trying to say to guys, why can't we just go over them, but they won't let me do that. So, um, so this was all kind of like, you know, made to make it one of the rooms beside this. Uh, Sound proof, so that's why it's weird. It's like a one in here, but this is A1, and it's a it's a duplicate rig of mine, but it also holds some of the control room gear that was too noisy in there. Um, so we've got a cold area, uh, and just a you know everything in theory on any of the rigs can be written. You know something can be written in one room and should come up in the other room sounding exactly the same. Um, but it's just all just you know, to try and calm the room down. Uh, then we have uh, an office. <laughs> and that's Emil, who's missing at the moment. He's back in Norway. Um, so that was there to make Valerie feel better that Emil isn't here. Um, 
then we go up to A2. Working in that moment. Uh, A2 again, another rig. Um, it's all the same as each other rig. So I have four in total, three rooms that are the same, and one mobile rig that we can set up anywhere. It normally only goes over to Glendale <laughs> when we're working with DreamWorks, um, but it has been sent to Australia and all sorts of places, so I can carry on writing. Um, but, uh, and this has got synths in it that I haven't plugged in for years. Um, yeah, I must really check that, that Super Jupiter, which is Super Jupiter, is fantastic. Let's see if it's working or not. Uh, and, and this thing's fun as well. Yes, this is, the, I mean, you know, if you, if you were to go to Hans's studio, you would see, you know, like, what's this, two, uh, you know, that's a two square feet. He's got about, 10,000 square feet of uh, vintage synths, but this is the only one that I have. But it is fun, and look, it's got a thing that does this on it. Um, and I haven't used it much though, I mean, I used it on uh, Mars Needs Mars. Yeah. But, uh, and then this is the view. Off Santa Monica. That's Malibu around here. And they're building a house over there, so it's going to be lovely and quiet. <laughs> um, and, oh yeah, you can see the, you can't really see the, uh, that's all the, the gubbins for the solar, but you can't really see the panels. We'd have to go up in the roof. We can go up there if you want. Can we get a really high shot? No, nah, be right. Uh, very pretty. And, and I mean, I'm, I'm up for going up there, but I don't want to put you out of there. And you have very large spiders <laughs> in Los Angeles. They're quite safe. They are the ones that will hurt you. Just frighten you. Um, so, I mean, that's it really. Yeah. Uh, there's advantages to living in Los Angeles. Mm. Yeah, when it's pissing down in London, yeah, this is the one that I, I like to remember. But other than that, it's Five Cat Studio.